Sid Zweigbaum down on the field with the victorious Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle, a 54-15 win over FDU Florham, the 21st ranked Mustangs, now the only 3-0 team in the MAC. Uh, coach, uh, the final score, obviously very one-sided, but it was a 21-15 game. You guys are punting uh, late in the first half. Uh, where do you think the game uh, tilted in your favor, and how did it get away from them, or how did you take it away from them? Well, they did some things in the running game that we hadn't seen before. Um, and, you know, we were able to get it at halftime and get it adjusted, um, you know, to put our guys in the right spots. And, they, and, they, and they, you know, the guys did a great job making the adjustments on field. So, you know, we were able to get some stops early in the third quarter and, 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 and our offense started to fire on all cylinders. So, um, you know, halftime, you know, to answer your question. Your defense obviously loves to intercept passes, leading the nation in that. Last week against Lebanon Valley, they didn't get very many opportunities. Uh, you know that the Devils are a team that likes to throw the football. Uh, how excited was the secondary to get things going, uh, picking off passes? Uh, it's what those guys live for, you know. Um, you know, just the excitement and the passion they play with is, is, is contagious for the whole group and really the whole team. And, you know, to watch them have some early success was, was, was fun to watch for sure. Uh, on offense, a uh, great passing day for Dan Williams. Six touchdown passes, a school record there. Two receivers uh, with over 100 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, what can you say about uh, Devin and Presto and, and the, uh, uh, Preston and the uh, matchup problems they create? Um, you know, they, they put the work in Monday through Friday, you know, and, and – you know, as long as they continue to do that, we'll hopefully continue to have success. Um, you know, Dan, again, gets sharper and sharper. Um, you know, and these guys working together on a daily basis. It's going to be fun to watch over the next six games. Uh, one thing statistically, offensively, you guys didn't do as well uh, was running the ball in terms of yards per carry. Is that something that you guys would like to have seen do a little bit better, uh, especially in the second half? Yeah, you know, we're going to get into the film and look at what was going on. You know, again, you know, they did some things schematically that, um, you know, affected our ability to, to run the football. Uh, but that's no excuse. You know, we expected it. We, we, we game planned for it. We prepared for it. We drilled it in practice. Um, it's just one of those things that, that, that causes you problems. And we've got to really look at it because I'm sure we'll see it again. You guys travel to uh, Misericordia next week, and then I know it's hard to look ahead, but you got uh, two of the teams at the top of the conference coming up uh, at the end of October in Widener and uh, Delaware Valley back here at home. Yeah, you know, it's one week at a time. We've got to focus on next Saturday and, and, and what we have to clean up from this game and then move forward from there. All right, Coach, congratulations, and thank we'll you. see you uh, October 22nd. Great, thank you.